Hey guys, welcome to our movie review for Uncharted, Sony's new conversion of a video game into a movie. PlayStation production. Directed by Ruben uh, Fleischer, who did uh, Zombieland and Venom, 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 Venom. Sony Zombieland was good. Sony's I like Zombieland a lot. Recycle. Well, Zombieland, take it or leave it. The sequel, uh, leave but it, uh, leave it, leave it. <laughs> did, did, but Sony is recycling the directors, recycling moments from the Uncharted game. We have uh, Nathan Drake played by none other than Tom Tom Holland, and Sully is uh, played by Mark See, Wahlberg. How do you mother for me? <laughs> hey, hey guys, and hey, this that's is really the problem. Let's talk about it. We talked about it before. Casting is still terrible. Ca so after having seen the whole film, does not feel like an uncharted film. Like I thought does this not. was going to be like an. It felt like I was some watching something entirely different. Yes. This is this not could have been a completely. Di exactly. You could put yeah. it in any yeah. fucking. Con it could any be a national treasure film, right? It's Nicolas Cage when he was younger. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because Mark Wahlberg doesn't even bother to act or or have an accent or do anything that Sully does. He's it's got the in fact. Accent. There's many times where he's doing, how are they doing? you know, his motor mouth kind of. Hey guys, no, what? <laughs> And, uh, and, and t you know, Tom Holland, honestly, I, I could feel that he studied. You know what I mean? He played the game. He studied because some, some of his mannerisms, some of his movements, some of it felt like the video game. Yeah, you can do all you can, but the he casting is He did all he could. Not. But, again, If he studied he for has... Terminator 9 or whatever right. it is, you think he's going to play Arnold? No. No. It doesn't fucking work because he looks like a child. He, that's what I was saying. Not only does he look young, uh, he's got a boyish charm to him. And, yeah. that, for me, that's not, that's not Nathan Drake. They showed a scene where there's young... Nathan Drake, and I mean really young Nathan Drake as like he's 10 or Even 12. Even younger. And then, then they do yeah. the thing where they morph young one into oh, right. old one, yeah. and it ages him like two years, and so he looks 16 instead of 12. Yeah. And they're like, no, he's 35. It's like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, because yeah. for me, Nathan is like more like rough or whatever. This He's like too boyish and too clean cut. Yeah. Right. Not. Okay. So we all, I think all three of us agree on the casting. Yes. All three of us agree that this could literally be any franchise, Correct. and they slapped the Uncharted name on it and ripped segments from the different games. A segment from Uncharted 3, a little tiny tiny <laughs> bits from 4, maybe something from 2, and then obviously tried to make, all, make it a prequel to 1. Uh, now, I didn't play all of the games all the way through. I uh, will be first to admit that. Have I you did. played the games? I played two. And he's played two of them. So those, these are our knowledge here. Um, and I think, I guess, so, Sophie Ali does an she, all right job as, uh, as Chloe. her video game counterpart. And I think in the second game, it's kind of alluded to that they might have had a relationship or he's crushing on her and stuff. And so I, I kind of expected more of that here. And we don't really get that. There, there's no chemistry whatsoever. There's, that's between another these thing. Two. Of my problem was yeah. like you don't get enough of the characters. You don't get enough of the character development. You don't get the no. chemist the chemistry between them. You're right, Joe. The character development is complete garbage. Yeah, you're just In like, fact, all right, hey, did you notice? I'm Nathan Drake. Yeah. I'm Sully. Let's go on an adventure. Right. I was like, did you notice Come that on. he's all bumbling in the fucking first adventure they go out on when he's hanging from a light? So I was like, oh, cool. Like it reminded me of the Jackie Chan moment, of course. Of course, none of it practical yeah. with a bunch of stunt guys. But anyway, you know, and he, he's like falling, and he's it right. But then when they go on the actual, you know, sort of uh, Indiana Jones, he's like a fucking black ops expert able to fucking flip and do all this ridiculous shit. This movie, I actually, it kind of starts well. I actually didn't mind it so much. And then it's sort of like... <laughs> didn't you realize what it was? Right. And then it goes off the rails, and we're we're doing... Set. Now, I get that, that, that they're trying to do like a video game, right? Because this shit gets ridiculous. You mean like Super Mario Brothers, the, 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 the movie, right? <laughs> yeah. This did just as great of a job as... Physics are thrown out of the window, but they do that in the game, so yeah. I can kind of... Forgive a sequence where there's literally fucking flying pirate ships and they're battling back and forth. Because I was like, you know what? That does seem like it would be in one of the video games, especially enemies that you beat up on the ship. But it it, it it's just ridiculous. And sometimes they push it a little too far. 
I mean, there's a moment in the film where <laughs> there's a car involved, and people and 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 um, Sophie is is talking with Tom Holland <laughs> in this car. I'm like, why? Why are we doing this scene here? <laughs> Not they don't even do that shit in Fast and Furious. It was so ridiculous with yeah. this stupid car. And and so there are moments where it pushes where I laugh out loud instead of moments where they push it where it's like this is video game ridiculousness. Um and and uh and so a lot of a lot of CGI and uh a lot of mimicking some of the scenes of the original game but watching it is far less engaging than playing it uh and sure. and a lot of the character development like joe said is rushed a lot of the chemistry isn't really there between the characters uh sully and nathan they they needed more chemistry now you see it at the very end i was actually surprised that like i felt like that ending the teaser for the sequel had more energy and more chemistry than you know some of the rest of the film i was a little surprised by that yeah. um but yeah and and then finally i think that they sort of waste the villain now let's be honest here uncharted has never really had the best villains right it's not uh, stand it's out people. It's not really it's exactly greedy exactly people. um but th they waste antonio banderas in in, in my opinion even and, and and they replace him with an even Joe, worse God villain. Damn it, Joe. oh my God. i hate so stupid it, oh the villain the, the actual ultimate villain in this oh, is so, so fucking bad <laughs> i hate it the, the, i think the, the biggest problem i have with this is i expected crazy things even supernatural things in right. this movie and There's so like i had no issues even when they're flying around Go you know with with with, with like pirate ships being carried by helicopters throughout <laughs> i don't mind that right. at all because in yeah. context of the uncharted it's fine the, the, there's so many like weird things that they do in this movie this is a dumb fucking movie for the when you when you watch an Indiana Jones movie and he finds the doodad that plugs in the other doodad and it shines the light and then you're like oh my god this is where the thing is buried and it makes sense that's fairly well written and even yeah. then th in this movie they find keys that lead them to like a normal sewer in a busy city and they're like oh you know Do the you keys realize... you need the whole time oh. it's just like in the sewer. No, it's just that's, like I, that's so fucking stupid. It's like literally, there's a fucking Papa John's in, where this shit is. Yeah, and nobody bothers to look at any of the holes. Nobody bothers to go under the city. That's impossible. Even to make the fountain run, they would have discovered all this shit the that they club discovered. The scene made me mad. It, it is. It is so. All of the whole discovering, like how the puzzle and all right. the things work, is so incredibly and we'll dumb. We'll talk about it more in spoilers. Yeah, I, I, I mean, the spoiler of the movie's bad okay. and it's written poorly. Don't see it. Please do not support shit like this that's that's my sport oh you went a little tougher than i thought you would okay this what, is like what about this club scene or should we talk about it in spoilers joe i don't want people to watch this movie just spoil it no they go to a, do it. they don't go to a club yet. and it's dumb stop it <laughs> okay I, let's go to final verdicts then right now okay right. final verdicts for me it's gonna be below average it's gonna be a four i could see where some people like if you really turn off your brain don't think about this as an uncharted film Maybe I could see it in an average film. Yes. I kind of wanted to go a little bit over the top. It's like, okay, there's two pirate ships next to yes. each other in the sky. Let's start fighting. Yeah, I was like, I wonder if cannons. Joe likes this. I would have and liked it. And they did it, that. The but I wanted more can Like, just, he just did that. You just, you just want more, Joe. More all the time. Let's what do you mean? Let's go over mean? the top. Then... You, under, you want them to do full crew cannons firing at each other in the why air? Why not? <laughs> Everything else is already stupid. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the jokes didn't okay. work for me. The jokes didn't work for me. Okay. The team did dynamic didn't work for me. Mm -hmm. uh, the little, oh, hey, remember us? <laughs> the little nostalgia thing yeah, with, yeah. The, uh, with the guy washing. Nolan earth. North. I yeah. fucking love no, that scene. I if like you speak ill of that scene, Nolan I'll throw North. you down the no, stairs. No, I said it's like, well, that, that was there for the fans. Oh, like, yeah. hey, remember when this was a, uh, it just a made, good game? Yeah. Yeah. Don't spoil it, but shit, we kind of already did. Anyways, keep going. So what's your final word? Uh, it's going to be a four for me. Okay. Like, I... Okay. Yeah, this is for an Uncharted. This is just no, no, didn't work. Didn't yeah, I agree work. entirely. I think that there's you a lot played of all the games, so I'm curious to see. There's uh, a lot of like fun. There's some fun to be had here, and if you are one of those people that have ever like stood up on your couch and gave a standing ovation to a commercial, this may be the exact movie for you. Um, <laughs> people were trying to clap, but it did not spread in the theater. Yeah, never, Good. This was one of the one times Good. I heard somebody. Oh, oh, we're not doing this. No, we didn't. We didn't like Good. it. And it. This is. <laughs> 
there's some interesting dumb fun here. If you want to put it on in the background when it's free streaming somewhere, mm. I can see people kind of liking it. But if you've played any of the games, I don't think you'll like it because I don't think they do any of the characters justice no at all. Mm. I don't think that any of the you know the puzzle, like let's find the different artifacts and see how they work together, none of that works at all in this movie. Some of the action sequences are filmed super well, and some of them are great, and some of them are borderline fucking terrible. Where like you're talking one second cut, like cut, 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 weird different angles, and it just doesn't work. So I think this is an, a, a below average movie, taking into context that I played the games. You put Uncharted on there; it sets expectations for me um, because you know you're yeah. basing it on something that I played Correct. all of them for, and they didn't meet any of those expectations. I agree. I, I think that you could play any of the games. In fact, I would rather watch anybody play the games yeah. than watch this. Yeah, film again. that's what I was gonna say too. On my um, like, because like it did the same thing. To m- this movie did the same thing to me with the Mortal Kombat. Like it oh, injected yeah. this character you don't really care about it's out of place and it's supposed to be a vessel for the ki- for the audience it's like what, i don't what care was out of for mortal kombat yeah but what in tom this holland one? and everyone well tom everyone. doesn't feel oh, like everyone. Casting. Yeah. everyone yeah, yeah. until you met casting. a brand new character like cole no you know, you're just no. there you're yeah just he like, might as well I, cole might have been the, might as might well have been the main character sure. for yeah, this movie like this doesn't feel yeah. right but i think i think the uncharted uh license actually holds back this dumb ass film this is a dumb film you turn your brain off you pl- b- eat some popcorn and shit and yeah you're gonna have a good time here and there but as an uncharted film it doesn't really work uh it, i guess no. it serves as a prequel to Uncharted at these, you know, the first game because of the Sully and the and and the Nathan Drake, you know, kind of team up. By the time I really started playing, and you know, Uncharted Four, Sully wasn't really a factor. So um, I I don't know if it satisfies fans. It seems like it hasn't. What did you give it again? Four. Four. Yeah. See, I was around uh, a six and a five. I think if they had. Not made in an Uncharted film. It feels like a National Treasure thing to me, mixed with a, some Fast and Furious. But stuff. National Treasure Nine. But but yeah, and and I wish some of that energy towards the end of the film was, you know, throughout the whole part of it. And uh, and if it was, then then I can see you do it. So you can't give this any better than a six. But because it is the Uncharted license, because of the miscasting, because of the lack of chemistry. I think it's an average at best film. So I'm going to give it a five. Same thing with Melissa. She gave it a five. Uh, In fact, she said it it failed her test. Her test is really not the 10 scale. It's the would I fall asleep in the theater? And she (laughs) fell asleep in the theater before the action scenes. And then, so it's like, that's not a good sign. (laughs) Anyways, uh, like I see some flashes of goodness here, but just the whole Uncharted license uh, Mm. actually kind of holds it back. So I don't think this breaks any kind of video game license curse. This is not a Sonic. This is not a, a m- original Mortal Kombat. This is a Don't you sequel did. Mortal Kombat. Kind yeah, this of is a Super Mario. We're in the Super Mario. We're closer to Super Mario than we are. And yeah. Super Mario, <laughs> yeah. But that is... And uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was about to bring up Street Fighter, but Street Fighter is a guilty play. That is a mind. classic. It's a, bad film. It's, a ter- it's terrible, but I love but it. it. But, and this one, it's not going to become a classic nah, like that like one. I no. saw it once. I'm, 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 no, I'm it's done, done forever. So, so unfortunately, if you were hoping that Uncharted was really good, poor Tom Holland picking a lot of bad projects lately. Oh, yes. Ooh, with uh, his money. He produced right. the money. <laughs> oh, the he film. did produce the yeah, film, Yeah, he's, he's sitting there. Oh, no, people don't like this movie. I made oh, a Oh, no, like, I'm in the... M- I'm in a film that makes one point something billion. I'm almost. <laughs> it's gonna make its Titanic. money. Yeah. It's gonna make its money back. Um, will we get a sequel? Will, yes. Do you, you think we will get a sequel? Venom got a sequel huh. from the same director. Of course, mm-hmm. it was getting a sequel. Okay. Well, hopefully things get better and they they try to up that chemistry, get some better writers and a different director because uh, I think the writing and directing also held it back with the miscast. I think eventually, if you want to look at Nathan Drake as a god, a, like super young Nathan Drake, like a teenage Nathan Drake and not really in the games. He's and 26. Yeah, kind of, I know. But Do some better writing, kinda, though. Right? Better yeah. writing. All right, guys, so that's it. Uh, stick with us if you want some of the spoilers. It's, it's dumb. <laughs> well, we already did some spoilers, so... Uh, If not, thank you very much, and we'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye, guys. (laughs) 
Welcome to the spoiler section. So this film has so many fucking backstabs back and forth that, uh, I mean, more than the video games. And video games are like 20 hours. This was gotcha. like two gotcha. hours and it was gotcha. back and forth. <laughs> Um, nobody trusted nobody. So it's like, you know, it's all about the backstabbing. So it's like, do does Tom Holland trust Sully? And does Sully trust th- Tom Holland? Does, um, you know, Chloe comes and it seems as if she has a past with, uh, you know, Sully. And then and then also Sully has a past with this other Joe chick. And what's her name? Joe? Yeah, yeah let me Call see. Call her Joe, right? Yeah, Joe Braddock. A mercenary working with, uh, so it's like... Okay, so they might have a relationship, and I thought it would go in a different direction, but she's a cold-blooded killer. You know, she ends up uh, killing the father of, um, what's his Even. name? Uh, the House of... What is... What is the Santiago Monto- Montoya. I don't fucking <laughs> know, okay? But there's a family where he has a lot of money, and f- for some reason his dad's going to give away all the money. <laughs> like, that would ever be a thing. Like, a super rich billionaire is going to give away. So so Antonio's really fucking pissed off that his dad is giving away all this money, so he, he feels like he needs to rush to find this thing, you know? and Or kill him. Or, or kill people that are getting in his way. And uh, so basically, Sully comes into his life and sees that, I guess he's been scoping him out because he sees that he can, he's like swindling people at a bar. He's a really good kind of street thief. And he's like, I need a, I need a person to help me. Uh, and they go on this uh, globetrotting adventure that has to do with, um, who's the guy there? Magellan. Magellan, right? Oh, it wasn't really about going across the, the globe, and he never made it. It was actually, in fact, they found a fuck ton of gold, and wherever they stashed the gold is where we need to get to. Only all of the clues to get there is so fucking stupid. It's a church no that has a club <laughs> that I guess the church that is, is so unaware stupid. of How? the club under the church. Well, the, the Papa John's is connected <laughs> down a, the street. And then, uh, and then on the street, the Papa John's is connected because the even club. they brought it up and too, because they're like, oh when, when, it's like, oh, no one's been here for like years, years. but there's like all these like sewers pop, like, like, uh, yeah, electrical things lines and lines and, and fucking pipelines and everything, and pipes like, and shit. It's like, don't you think this they have should been like, be what the fuck is older? Going? I guess they didn't put all the shit together and say, fuck it, just build over it. How does the fucking Goonies... Fuck it, build over it. A, a dumb fucking movie that I love. I love the Goonies. <laughs> but how does the Goonies do, like, the the yeah. like the like finding the treasure thing better than an Uncharted movie? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I wish they did. I wish they did it like the Goonies. I wish they were in some different location, because this was dumb. And then, and so they have to simultaneously turn keys and they, they keep it like, no, give me your key. No, I don't trust you yet. You give me my key. And then they have to trust each other to turn these fucking keys to find the treasure. They find the room and their urns of fucking salt. salt. There's nothing in there. And Except then for one map. Oh, there was a map. That's right. Yeah. And and everything collapses. <laughs> the map was dumb as fuck. But but here's your here's your third backstab moment where she's got the gun and she's like, "Give me the fucking map." And he's like, "Oh man, I thought you were our friend, Chloe Fraser." And so remember, her, don't trust anyone. Hers is her trust issues and then also Sully backstabs Nathan by not telling him more details with his brother which is what Uh, okay so yeah and remember I came in in the game where Sam comes back right the brothers in in Uncharted 4 no he's dead he's dead Braddock Braddock killed your brother in the beginning you see the whole pair or the whole trailer thing where he's like knocked unconscious then it goes 15 years earlier Mm -hmm. he's there with his Sam they're looking at the Magellan uh, map. It's like, oh, this is where he sailed. It's like, actually, this happened. And they get <laughs> and busted. It so it's like, all right, that's the one you're going it. to jail. Three strikes, you're out. And Sam's like, no, nah, man, I can't get caught. <laughs> I'm bouncing. I'll see you when I see you. Mm-hmm. And, and he abandoned then, his brother. Then no, he but he's sending postcards. One. He's sending postcards. No, but but with that, secret though. messages. So they show Tom Holland, and there's a big thing. It says 15 years earlier, and I thought we were going to get like real, 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 real close up in like an ure- urethra and see like a sperm going down because he looks like a fucking child. <laughs> Jesus, Alex. No. Okay. So then fi- I take offense to that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then fi- uh, so, uh, well, what's the reveal that uh, Sully had left his brother to die or mm-hmm. something? 
or no, that it was Joe, Joe killed uh, killed Sam. Sam because right? he shot him up. But and apparently. then Sully could have done something for him, and he knows more, and so it's a betrayal to to uh, you know Nathan Drake. Um, anyways, then then they're all at a place trying to figure out how this. They have a montage of all the postcards, and he figures out a message. His his brother wrote him a message in invisible ink. Which is the compass, the, the keys, if you combine them, they turn into a compass. And he does the stupidest thing. <laughs> he fucking right. twists them. And I'm like, wait a minute. You could have really just pointed at any location on the map or maybe this location or that location. But he, I like, barely, like, if it was me, I would have pushed the pin all the way in because he just, like, let it hang. And he's like, all right, it's right here. <laughs> right. I would have been like, all right, on let's, the way. Then it would be slightly right in a here. different area. Whatever. <laughs> it's a movie, so then they go to that area. Wait, no, you forgot. Oh, that's true, yeah. Go you ahead. You forgot about the backstab. He's like, okay, hmm, hey, Chloe, I found... Wait, I don't trust you. She's in her. bed, Let sleeping. me write down the, the location here. Well, no, they trust each other at that point because, no. well, first he saved her life, and then she betrays him, and then, la and then later on they're together because they're in the same spot. And he betrays her. And he and betrays he, her. Yeah, he, betray, he gives her the fake coordinates and yes. leaves them out. Yeah. And like, like <laughs> don't don't betray me, and, but here are the yeah. coordinates. And she's a dumbass. It's like, oh, this must be where he went. Oh, he wrote down the coordinates. Should I tell him that we'll go? No. See, I and thought so she he, was going to be smart enough, grab the notepad, and, and like kind of sketch it out. Be like, all right, this is the real one. Mm -hmm. Don't no, trick me. Yeah, yeah, I thought dumb. she, honestly, I thought that's what it was, where she already knew or did something, and she was going to show up in the middle of the battle. But no, she's a fucking dumbass. And she's driving yeah, her fucking. You don't see her anymore. I mean, she shows up at the end, yeah, at the very, at the very, very end, when end. she looks up. It's like, what but the fuck it. have y'all been doing? <laughs> I know. <laughs> you gave me coordinates in like the middle of the island. How are pirates okay, gonna get so, there? Okay, uh, so they also have coordinates, and they're headed somewhere. The bad guys with Antonio Banderas. Oh no, she does the double cross where she joins them. <laughs> So have we, we forgot to even, even say that. Cross right. We forgot to say that that Antonio, she's on Antonio Banderas. Sophie uh, or Chloe Fraser is on their team along with Joe. But then, as Antonio is doing his, I will reclaim my family's honor. Joe just walks up behind him. <laughs> and kills the only <laughs> good character in this movie. The only believable character in this movie is Antonio I like, Banderas. I was hoping Antonio Banderas would get like a pirate. You know, there would be a scene of something. It would have been know. amazing. But no, he's done. He's out of the movie. And he's killed off in the most bloodless way. I have to say that <laughs> this is the cleanest it is. Uh, action movie he's I've got ever like seen. Little specs. <laughs> I was like, there was like two, two drops of blood. And I kept looking to even see if there was a cut. And it's just like... A black. It's just like, uh, did they forget to fill they in did, the they CGI? They did catch up, and they just put it across his neck. It was weird, and so he dies, and Joe becomes leader, and she's like, ha ha, and then all the the, the the Scottish dude is like, how about to do you do that to the, 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 the Sunday morning? And she's like, yeah, you're gonna follow me now. And yeah. yeah, but I don't get that. Like, well, she's not the one with the money. The guy was with the money. Right. He was that paying make her. Any why do we have to listen I, that's to why her I said that. fucking killer? That's why I said that. It makes no fucking sense. But they, they're just like, she's like, and they're like, okay, now we respect her. Why? Because this is the movie, the, and we have to proceed. Bitch, they're even like, bitch, what the fuck did you do? That's my, my check money. better clear. <laughs> exactly. you, you think I'm out here on this fucking plane and, and flying around on goddamn for pirate you? ships for fun? <laughs> <laughs> and you notice how they all they always have these badass scenes like as they're flying in the pirate ship like one guy gets a scene where he jumps from pirate ship and he's like <laughs> and I was like shut just shut the fuck up <laughs> whatever <laughs> Anyways, then we have that plane scene where all the cargo gets thrown out, and then they and they do this scene where they both, she gets in the car, and then Tom Holland, who had just previously, you know, made his way all the way back, she slams into him. And then the car is screaming, and, she, and Tom Holland's on the on the hood of the car as they're falling, and she well, he decides up to, to get the car. out of the car. No, he she caught gets, up to the car, grabbed she, the bumper, and yeah. climbed up. He's, there he's on the car, but the car the car is plummeting <laughs> towards Earth. It was thirty thousand feet and up. She goes, but it. What are you doing? <laughs> she gets out of the car <laughs> as it's about to. They're about to die. What are you doing? Hey, hey, hey! Hey, what's up? What did you do that for? What are you doing? I was yeah. like, uh, are you serious? We're we're falling to our deaths, and this is the moment. Hey, you got a parachute? No, you don't got a parachute okay. either. Follow right. me. 
And then she flies mm-hmm. off into the direction, and, and I guess physics are all out the windows, and then he follows her. And, and they just uh, managed to get into that crate that oh, has that was hilarious. the parachute. Yeah. So yes. anyways, that's video game logic, but, n- but done even poorly, video though. games, done poorly. when you're controlling it, it feels different, and yeah, done poorly, and sure. not so CGI, and not so ridiculous, and not so cartoonish. Uh, anyway, so then you have this. Okay. So he misdirects everybody. He knows the real location. He goes to the real location. But somehow the bad guys and Joe and her fucking mercenary force go into the forest to find it. But yet he just drives by on a fucking hey, <laughs> boat. And then she's like, wait a minute. <laughs> Apparently they, they, they teleport back to the beach so that they can see him. Oh, shit. He's going a different way. The treasure's been sitting there for 500 years. And he couldn't wait like a month. He can just hang out on the beach for a month. Forever. Like ditch the phone. He's like, I'll just wait till these fuckers and get out of here. none of this would have happened. And it's like, this is so <laughs> stupid. Like, what? Like, just at that moment, she sees him. It's that kind of writing. Yeah. Thanks, Neil Druckmann. Yes. Thanks. I, I guess we could blame it on Neil, right? I, he I don't produced know who the, did it. He fucking produced know, the thing. I don't, I don't think know. he wrote it, though. That's the thing. He didn't re- write it. It was screenplay by Rafi Lee Judkins, Art Markham, and Matt Holliday. Or Holloway. Anyways, so then he goes to the actual location, which is a fucking under... It's a fucking cavern that... Man, tourists would have found this shit a long fucking time ago. It, it, so it, it is a giant cavern that has a hole in the top big yep. enough for the ships to be airlifted and out of. Nobody fucking. And they're found just they're this. just right there. You just be so like, hey, is that this is two where pirate ships? It's like holy shit. <laughs> Not only that, but they're perfect. <laughs> the hole is perfectly sized to easily airlift out. And then I I turned to Melissa and I was like, why do they have helicopters and a ship standing by as if they knew they were gonna find ships? Maybe I I missed that part in the film. Is that they. They I knew that they there were going gold. to be ships. That's I it. thought that they just were looking for gold because in the first time they're just exploring in the jungle. Well, it said in the it said in the script like bring helicopters. Right, <laughs> but so they have this whole fucking team and they're and they fucking I'm like no, this is stupid. Yes. Anyway, yeah. uh, well they get there first. Uh, Na- uh, Nathan gets there first, and then Sully was there, and he's like, "How the fuck?" I was like, "How does Sully get there?" I wasn't thinking that he's got an app that tracks where Nathan Drake. So I was like, "Okay, you got it." So fine, and Sully's here. I don't know, their service is pretty good. Service is pretty good. The phone's I go to my waterproof. House, I can't fucking make a call in my house. <laughs> yeah, well, he jumped in water like forty-five times. Like that's a great water. Okay, phone. one of the writers uh, he did uh, Punisher, Warzone, Transformers, The Last Night, Man in Black International, and he's gonna do. Trans- Craven the Hunter with uh, Cro- Russell Crowe. Did you say Transformers the last night? Yes. That's fucking horrible. Yeah, well, uh, Craven, I he had like Craven one or two good, good ones, and the rest were bad. So anyways, so then they get in there. Then the mercenaries show up. They blow a hole in the fucking thing, uh, you know, completely ignoring that this is a sensitive area. You don't want to ruin your ships. And then she makes a point to well, her you know mercenary what bad people. Guys do that don't you think. fucking put a hole in my ship. They're just as valuable as the gold. And then the whole thing proceeds. She's like... Turn the f- the helicopter lifts the fucking uh, ship out, and then they hijack the other helicopter. And she's like, "Turn this around, and we're gonna." And, and <laughs> everything they do is destructive towards the the thing, you know. At this point, and they jump, and then they have the pirate fight where they ramming speed, they're ramming speed, yeah. and they slam. They're like, "I know we have three billion plus this ship, and they have three billion plus the ship, but I want ev- all of us to have nothing." Yeah, it's at, like at, okay. At any point, they're gonna just put them down, and then just shot them and killed them and stuff. But no, we, you know, and in fact, she could have put her. You know, uh, ship down and then went after it because that helicopter would be faster than the other. Where's helicopter. the thing gonna fucking land? I don't fucking know. What do you mean the land? No, well, on if, that if, ship. If they Sol- had a ship. Oh, Sully. Oh, no, no, if Sully. No, Sully. So she can. She oh. has enough time to like land her ship and go get an attack helicopter and be like, you know what? I'm gonna fucking destroy you. I, this movie's dumb. I have no idea. So then, <laughs> what? so so. <laughs> Then Tom Holland goes, he, and this is a pretty good action scene. I kind of like the, the ridiculousness of the ships flying. That's why that I was said, a video I want like, yeah. like cannon on cannon. Cannon on cannon. He gets one Pirates. cannon shot. It was a good shot. And they set it up like a video game. Oh, black powder. And I'm like, oh, God. there's no reason for him to pick up the black powder. But then later on, they're like, aha, there's a thing. I have an idea. And he puts the black powder in it. And it's and then lighter he lights that it. never works. And the lighter that never works. He manages to get it to work. And But the fuck, the... It didn't make any sense. What is the other helicopter doing at this moment? So Watching. He has to get the other helicopter. So it's broadside, right? 
you have to get the other helicopter to come in this way. What is the purpose for this helicopter to be flying towards this helicopter he in a manner stuck. where the cannon could even be? He's stuck with the script. <laughs> yeah. The was script. he? Was his intention to ram them and destroy both after, ships? After after Joe told him, "Do not or, fuck the shit." They up, did. The yeah, and they up. did show the pilot had a gun, so I guess he was going to fly directly at them and, in the moment, hang his. Uh, Gun out, shoot Tom Holland too much credit. from the helicopter no. to no. the gun, and then lift the helicopter right before no. or teleport. I don't know what it was. It was just to set up the cannon shot, firing off and hitting the helicopter perfectly to where uh, the the Joe lady has to make a jump to nowhere, and then she latches onto a. A fucking rope that comes out of nowhere or and something. And again, they could have done this way better with writing. Like, oh, look, there goes Tom Holland. They could have been like, all right, we tracked him. Instead of like, oh, there yeah, he is. Yeah, we just put a tracker on Ramming him. speed. Like, like, you could have done something better. The first time better. we saw you, I put a tracker on you, you dumbass. Anything could have been way yeah. simpler than what the fuck they were trying to do. Yeah, but I do I do like some of the craziness, right? And, and, and it's just, you know, you could do it both ways. You can have your cake and eat it, too. So then uh, that helicopter blows up, and then she gets onto theirs and crawls slowly up, and uh, they're losing the gold, they're losing this, and 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 he puts it on all. Oh, Sully puts it on autopilot. I didn't know that the autopilot will literally, you know, help compensate for a fucking ship that's oh, ripping yeah. the helicopter yeah. apart. It knows how to do all that mm -hmm. with the autopilot. Yeah. And so he comes out, and then he's like, you, you know. Uh, he realizes he has to make a decision to let the fucking uh, gold go. So he actually just takes the... I liked what he did. He took the fucking backpack and just threw it on He could have done, like, just grabbed one of those big... Yeah, bars. one of those big... Bar, like, gold, gold's heavy as fuck. Yeah. yeah. Hit her but in the face with the gold bar her, and she's hit dead. Her, yeah. Hit her with everything. And she gets hit and she, you know, hits a few of the uh, ship pieces and then falls into the ocean. And then the whole fucking ship d detaches and slams into her. And so you get a satisfying boss fight death, I guess. Um, Off screen. I was very happy to see her, get her die because uh, she was a terrible character and I hated it. Um, okay. PG-13? Oh, shit. Cool. That means Tom Holland can see it next year. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Alex. Okay. And then, and then that's when we see the chick who's like, what the hell were y'all doing the whole time? And it's like, hey, hey you learned you from me. You son of a and bitch. Then, and, and Nathan <laughs> shows him that he has a few gold pieces. Here, take some and take some. Then he gives him a piece of gum at the end because they're friends now. And it's like, have a gum. And he throws it out the window. He's like, that's my last piece. That last bit made me laugh a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I was like, hey, this works. This and is it's where over. it's working. And, and, and then it's over. And the movie ends. That's what I'm saying. Their chemistry was good towards the end of the film. And then they have a post credit scene. Or do they have two post credit scenes? Two. Two. What was the first one? First one was uh, oh, uh, he's brother. getting the map. No, that's the last one. Oh, that's one. the last one. So the first one is he's getting a Nazi. This is basically leading into the first game, if I'm not mistaken, Alex, mm -hmm. where it's a uh, yeah, Nazi's map, Roman, and yeah, he pulls a 180, gives them the ring, uh, their, their family's ring, in order for the map, and then he ends up getting them both. The guy tried to fuck him where the whole bar puts guns at him. And for some reason, when Sully comes in and points the gun at one random dude, the whole bar is like, oh, you got us. Yes. You got one gun. There's <laughs> 20 of us here, but you got us. Yes. And then everybody puts their hey, guns down. if it was you, would you not be like, everyone, put your guns down. It's <laughs> my mean, ass. Some, yeah, but the, the, the dude with the patch would be like, fuck this guy. No, I don't care. You're not going to be able to get us all, but whatever. <laughs> I guess they didn't really want, them, want it all that bad. It's not worth um, it. But then he comes in, and Mark Wahlberg's got a mustache, and it looks fucking horrible on him. And it's because Sully has the famous mustache, but Mark but looks not a very terrible good mustache, with it. No. Um, and the director's all like, it's up to Mark if he wants to keep it, you know, if we go forward into a sequel. Uh, and, and honestly, I want him to keep it because he looks hilarious with it. Um, and that, and what I'm saying, this chemistry that they have right here, this little bit, it felt more like yeah. the, the first movie, video though. game where it's like they're, they got this partnership, Sully and Nathan is cool. Anyways, <clears throat> then we get our n next uh, scene and his brother, because I was... It's in a, some kind of prison, and then you just see this guy with long hair just writing. And it's like, oh, hey, 
Come find me or some bullshit. Don't say it. Trust anyone. Watch your back. Watch your back, right? And it's his. It's Insane. his. His brother's alive, so we can still have Uncharted Four if so we he want. He got shot up, but he wasn't dead. So there, there. Are, it's so apparently the movie is a prequel to the first game, but then has mixtures of all of the game moments. Mm-hmm. But I felt really. No. I really want to see it. No thanks. Um, yeah. No thanks. Uh, if it happens, I'm gonna be really cold. No, no real hype towards the sequel. Um, it was all right if you want to waste two hours. Uh, budget 120 million, so we'll see if it makes up that uh, its budget back. We'll see. All right, guys. So honestly, kind of a wasted opportunity. It's Sony. Oh, I sure. didn't really have much hope for it. Um, Just hire me to be your script doctor. That's script so doctor. Stupid. Yeah. Hey, there it goes. Let's go follow him. Joe, Joe played two of the games, and he still would have done a better oh, job because he would have fixed sure. it. For sure, for <laughs> sure. Anyways, that's it from us. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye guys. guys.